Elgato is sponsoring me to talk about, is this microphone good enough to buy? Does it sound good enough to buy? Put aside the software side of the Elgato Wave microphone, which in my opinion is the most valuable part of this particular mic. The software, Wavelink software, allows you to pull in music and game audio and Discord and whatever you want into one digital mixer. Put that aside for a moment. Let's just look at the mic itself. Does it sound good enough? Well, we're gonna do a sound test right now. You've been listening to the Elgato Wave 1 mic. I've been talking in it, and I've actually had some processing and effects on top of the microphone as this video kicks off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in real time here, remove the post-processing and effects that I have. Boop, boop, boop. And we're just going to listen to the raw audio from this microphone in a pure sound test without any OBS filters. I just had OBS filters on over there. Are you ready? So here is the sound that you're going to get if you just plug this mic in and you do a recording with no filters, the Elgato Wave 1. I have it hang 10 distance from my mouth right now, and this is the optimal distance in my opinion. Now you can bring it in closer and get more of a more of a broadcaster -er sound if you want to bring it fist bump distance in by bringing it this close to your mouth. And as you can hear, it's going to pick up more of the bass in your voice, and you're going to sound a bit fuller and a bit better. If you're going to do this far away from the mic fist bump distance, you're going to want to have a windscreen of some description. I'll have one in the description below if you want to pick up the official Elgato one because I'm going to take this off. You're going to hear some crunching. If you're this close, there's a built-in pop filter inside of the Elgato Wave 1 mic, but in my experience, I talk so loud, for example, and I'm so breathy that I can actually punch through the pop filter if I'm this close. However, if you move the mic hang 10 distance away, about this far, then you probably won't have any pops. You won't need any pop filter with this mic and it'll still sound optimal. Now I wanna show you, the mic comes with a table stand that you can easily mount the microphone to. I've got a tutorial on how to mount that and remove that and what have you. But if you move the microphone further away from you, let's say table stand distance away, so I'll move the mic over there right now and I'll point it toward me, you're going to hear a massive difference, in my opinion, in the quality of the audio. It's going to pick up some room noise maybe uh, some echo in your room. I've got an acoustically treated space here, and it's going to uh, basically not get the full quality from this microphone that you could get if you brought it closer to your mouth, in my opinion. So this is about what it'll sound like if you popped it on the table stand there and you put it on your desk. It's about 18 inches to two feet away from me right now. Still sounds good, right? And you could add processing to this to make it sound better, but this is not optimal, in my opinion. Look, the table stand's great that comes with this mic, uh, but in, you can use it when you're on the go. Let's say you're going to a hotel or you're going to a conference and you want to do a podcast, whatever, table stand it up, let's go. But if you're at home in your home studio, I recommend picking up a stand uh, for your microphone and um, a boom uh, a boom stand as well as a shock mount for the microphone to get optimal audio quality. And let me just switch back. I'm going to turn on processing for you now. This is very basic processing in OBS, and this processing is just going to do noise removal, compressor, and limiter. These are all, and I just turned them all on, and these are very basic processors that are free that I recommend everybody add to their OBS, and this is the way this mic sounds with the processing on, table stand distance away, all right? This is the way the mic sounds hang 10 distance away with no pop filter. All right, and this is the process sound of the Elgato Wave 1, and then here's the way it sounds fist bump distance away with no extra pop filter on it but some filtering, okay? I think this will give you a good idea of how this mic actually sounds. If you buy it, you plug it into your computer. This is a real-time test. Thanks to Elgato for sponsoring this video. I love this mic. I've recommended the Wave 3 to millions, not millions, dozens of my clients in the past. The Wave 1's performance is really, really solid. It's nearly identical in terms of audio quality. Thank you so much for watching.